Mike here from the Parker Store. This Partner with Parker Store video is a short but sweet look at how you can make sure you get the right overall length, or OAL, for your hose assembly before crimping or attaching. Since we're devoting a video to this topic, you can guess that it's pretty important. You have to have the proper measurement in mind before cutting and crimping your hose, or your assembly is not going to be as efficient as it can be. And by definition, lower efficiency impacts your bottom line. First off, a couple of safety reminders. Your saw's safety guard should be working properly, and please wear safety glasses. Trust us on that one. And to prevent leakage, you have to make sure all contamination of any kind is removed before installation of fittings. Brush, air, pellet, or solvent flush the hose from both ends. Okay, whether you're using a smooth or scalloped saw blade, the pins on the cutting table must be positioned to bend the hose as far as possible without kinking. Also, you want your cut to be as clean and square as possible, or the hose might not insert properly into the fitting. Now let's talk about getting your OAL right, your overall length. Proper fitting cutoff factors should be used to assure correct assembly length. These factors are found in the appropriate fitting catalog adjacent to the fitting illustration. Here are the industry standards for overall length variation of a hose assembly. Certain assemblies use bent tube or other angle type fittings. If there is a bent tube fitting on each end, they might not lie in the same plane. The difference between these end fittings is known as offset. In these cases, you'll need a protractor. If you're unfamiliar with this procedure, refer to the hose assembly fabrication guide, which you can find on the Parker website, or ask the professionals at your Parker store. In fact, turn to your Parker store if you have any questions about how to get the correct overall length for your assembly, or for questions about the cutoff factors. One more important thing to remember, when deciding on a hose assembly length for an installation, you should add 5% to the minimum length required. This is to take into account both the assembly length tolerance and the change in length that occurs from pressurizing the hose. You see, once they're pressurized, hydraulic hoses can change in length anywhere from 2% longer to 4% shorter. I hope this Partner with Parker Store video has helped. And of course, once you've measured and cut your hose, if you have any questions about crimping, check out our Partner with Parker Store crimping video or call the pros at any Parker store.